the future of money, the great sweep of historical change, would tend to indicate that we haven't seen the revolution yet. Your identity is something which is so important in this kind of future world that we're looking at. It really is the kind of critical resource and everything else will fit around that. So not only is identity fraud not been fixed, it's worse than ever. Who's seen a 500 euro note? Anybody? No, never, I couldn't even, you have. You're a drug dealer though, right? <laughs> There's a lot of 50 pound notes out there and none of us have ever seen them. So you have to sort of vaguely wonder, well, where are they? But there's a very big difference between using biometrics for identification, which is kind of scary and spying on people and whatever, and using biometrics for authentication. Whether that means in the long run, people will use bitcoins instead of pounds and euros, I'm unconvinced. You know, the new economy needs a new kind of money, just as the industrial economy demanded new kinds of money a few hundred years ago. So my question to you is, what do you want a cashless society to look like? If we're going to get rid of cash and replace it with something else, what do you want it to be? So money is technologically equivalent to a primitive form of memory, right? It's a primitive form of memory. When you're using the debit card, that's about identity and trust. It's not about money anymore. It's about who I am and do you trust me? So having things in the virtual world that you can't copy, that actually makes the virtual world more like the mundane world. Let's not tear the bank down and rebuild it. Let's use the new technology to try to do some new things in a different way. No, it's fraud management, because if you were a criminal and I dropped my card in the street, the card says Dave Birch on it, for hilarious reasons we don't understand. And it has my, sig and it has my signature on the back to make it as easy as possible for criminals. Uh, I don't know why, it's how banks work.